Shalom. First, I want to give all the praises and the glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Yahweh is the name of the Most High God. Yahweh Shai is the name of the Son who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Double honors to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone. As always, double honors. Shall I want to the 144,000 and hopefully elected the house of Israel? So, I just want to do a quick response to this video here that I was sent the other day by a friend of mine. Okay, by a brother, one of the brothers sent me this video here. As you can see, it's titled. It says, Jesus is the God of Israel. The Jews threatened to kill us persecution. Okay, that's what it's titled, the video. Now, my title, I'm doing a response to this, the Jews threatened to kill us. Now, let's give you some context on this before I start to play it. These are so-called Christians preaching white Jesus. Just so you know, they're definitely preaching white Jesus. They're calling on the name of Yeshua, all right? Preaching white Jesus. But the point I want to show you is that they're preaching in the name of the Lord in Israel. So they're in Israel, and they're preaching the Lord in Israel, right? Uh, this was a few weeks ago in Israel. So we know they're preaching white Jesus, and they're preaching in the name of white Jesus because they're calling on Yeshua. The Lord's name is Yeshua. The Lord's name is Yahawashai. The Father's name is Yahawah, as we all know, okay? So this is a Christian organization preaching Jesus in the land of Israel, right? The place where these Christians, especially in the Bible Belt in the Midwest, Bible Belt in America, hide so highly valuable, you know, hide them so highly in their hands and continue to say that these are the so called Jews of the Bible. All right. They continue to say that. Like I said, they're not like what the apostles said, they can call themselves Jews, but they're not the Israelites. All right. They are not the children of Israel, as we're going to show you. So, I'm going to play this and just watch the reaction of the so-called small hats in Israel to this woman and a few other people that's trying to preach white Jesus to them in Israel. what he does he's going to headbutt her with his helmet right just in case you missed it right let's say yeah these devils operate in israel right <laughs> Make it easy. Make it easy. man that you see that's just come now he's with her he's part of this christian church white christian white jesus christian church outfit that's in israel and this man is an israeli as well that's come to the woman's aid right they're all part of the same organization just watch 
Now this big lump, right? First he intervenes, right, to try to stop them from attacking the the the, the woman, right, from the from a Christian organization. But watch how this escalates. calling on white Jesus but my point I'm trying to show you is that these devils don't believe in the Lord these devils in the land of Israel do not believe in the Lord right? but these people are preaching white Jesus and they're calling on Yeshua All right. but I'm just trying to show you a point that these devils do not believe in the Lord and these are the same devils that are being protected by the so called Christian church all throughout America and all throughout Europe that still call these people I still believe that these people are the children of Israel, and as we know, they're not. And they're gonna show you right here. We'll try this escalates even more. Anything Remember, these these so called Christians, they believe that. The Lord, the Hawashai and the Most High are the same entity. They they believe that madness that the Catholic Church teaches, right? These Christians. This is what they believe. This is what the Christian Church believes. They believe, and so do these Christians here. They believe that that the Lord, Yahushai and Yahweh are the same entity. This is what they believe, right? <laughs> but anyway, watch how this watch how these devils respond. said what the f is the bible did you hear what he said we'll just quickly play it back when he said that he said what the f is the bible all right listen to what he says all right i'm gonna play it back so even the old devil next to him the small hat next to him the big hat next to him gets involved this is how these people don't believe in the scriptures they don't believe in the bible these devils they do not believe in the scriptures watch them again listen to what he says carefully I think it's what, yeah, 
So now fat boy slim now now he's now he's switched on them now you see the same fat boy that was trying to that was going up against the boy in, in the motorbike helmet before the, the other little small hat the young boy earlier telling him to back off leave them alone now fat boy doesn't like not like what he's hearing about what they got to say about the bible so now fat boy slim is up against them now all right so now they've now they've come together the one in the motorbike helmet and the small hat they've come together now because before he was trying to stop the the the, 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 the this run with the helmet from attacking the woman and and telling him to leave them alone now he's joined forces with them cuz he don't want they they don't believe in the bible they do not believe in the torah these devils watch how this goes <laughs> I'm going to do something yeah, I've never done before. Shai is the God of Israel. He went, shut the fuck up. I'm going to kill you. Shut the fuck up. Let me play this back again. They're calling on Yeshua. And I know they're calling on white Jesus, right? But I just want to understand what, what's going on here. He's saying that the Lord is the God of Israel, right? He's the king of Israel. My man, he says, he says he, they call on the name um, Yeshua. Yeshua is not the Lord's name. I can't stop saying this. That Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. And these people are preaching white Jesus. But the point I'm trying to get across to you, they don't want to hear the name of the Lord because they don't believe in the Lord, these devils in Israel. They don't believe in the Lord. Let me play this again to you. <laughs> he said? He said, he said, Yahweh is the God of Israel, right? So he says, Hamashiach is the God of Israel. They don't want to hear that, 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 that Yahweh Shai is a power, that he's the son of the Most High. They don't want to hear that. These small hats, these small hats do not believe in Yahweh Shai, right? Don't believe in the Lord, don't believe in the Son of the Most High. Oh, I, 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 oh, I
Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus is the Son of God. Go, 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 go. Jesus, Jesus is the Son of God. Right, he went, stop, stop, stop. They don't believe in the Lord, these devils. They do not believe in the Lord. Let me just play that back again to you. And we know the Lord's name is not Jesus, but I just want to point out something to you. Jesus is the Son of God! Jesus is the Son of God! Go! 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 So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. I'll bring out a couple of scriptures just to show you that. These devils don't believe in the Lord, boy. They hate the Lord. But this is who the Christian church is defending. This is who the Christian church believes are the children of Israel. This is who white supremacy Christianity, alongside those demonic black churches, are defending. This is who they're defending. These people don't believe in the Lord. They don't believe in the Bible. They don't believe in the Old Testament. They don't believe in the New Testament. All they believe in, all they believe in is this book here. This is, this is the book that they believe in. It's called the Babylonian Talmud. This is what they believe in. This is what they use. The term Talmud normally refers to the collection of writers named specifically for the Babylonian Talmud. This is what they study out of, right? They, they've got the Babylonian Talmud. This is it. The Jerusalem Talmud covers all the tractates of Zerium, while the Babylonian Talmud covers all the tractates of Barakot. The, reas the reasons might be that most laws from the order of Zerium, agricultural laws limited to the land of Israel, had little practical relevance in the Babylonian and therefore not included. This is the book that they study out of. This is the book that they believe in. All right? They don't believe in the scripture. They don't believe in the Torah. But yet these are the people that the churches are defending. These are the people that these so-called Christian nations are arming to kill the Palestinians. This is the book they study out of. It's the Talmud. This is what this is what they study out of. The Babylonian Talmud. They don't believe in the scriptures. This is their book. They don't believe in the Old Testament. They don't believe in the New Testament. This is what they believe in. The Talmud. All right. This is this is their book here. The Babylonian Talmud. That's what these devils study out of. This is what they believe in. They don't believe in the scriptures. It's as simple as that. As much as those people that was coming in the name of white Jesus are not, you know, they're not coming in the name of the Lord. They're coming in the name of another God. They're coming in the name of this white Jesus. That's why the scripture says, it says, and many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. And they are false prophets themselves. Don't get me twisted. All right. They are false prophets themselves. We go to Matthew's. I just want to bring out a couple of scriptures. I'm not going to spend long on this. Matthew's. They are false prophets themselves. But what they was trying to teach, they were trying to say, look, they were saying, say, um, you know, Yahweh is the son of the most high, blah, 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 you know, but they are false prophets because they're coming in. They're coming in the name of another God. And that's why the scripture says, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, and shall deceive many. And that's what we see. Many false prophets shall arise and shall deceive many. They don't believe in the Lord. Second Israel chapter two, verse five. It says, nevertheless, nevertheless, as coming as nevertheless, as coming the tokens, prophets, the days shall come. 
that they which dwell upon the earth shall be taken in a great number and the way of truth shall be hidden and the land shall be barren with faith and that's what we see right that land is completely barren with faith that land of israel is totally barren with faith absolutely and the way of truth is hidden in that place and it's totally barren with faith In the next verse, it says, But iniquity shall be increased above that which now thou seest, or that thou hast heard long ago. And that's what we see. We see the increase of iniquity, right? Especially in that land of, of Israel, the state of Israel. I remember I tell you that the largest LGBTQ plus concert, right? The largest LGBTQ festival. Israel, just so you can see, in all of Europe is held in Tel Aviv. The TLV Fest, officially the Tel Aviv International LGBTQ+, that's the film festival, it's an annual film festival. It also has a parade. Here it is, the Pride Festival. Join to Israel's two-day gay event, which will begin Thursday evening, June. So this is coming up next couple months. June which will begin Thursday evening, June the 6th, 2024, along Tel Aviv's beachfront promade, Herbert Samuel Broadwalk, Broadwalk, with creative floats and live performances. The festivities will continue at noon Friday the 7th, 2024, which is their so-called Sabbath, at Yeshua Park for a party bash until sunset before Sabbath, right? The largest LGBTQ++ is held in Israel. Right, it's a massive tourism event. They look Tel Aviv Pride Friday, the seventh of June. Tel Aviv Pride has be, has become one of the biggest events of the year in Tel Aviv. Visitors from all over Israel and the world come out in full force to celebrate. The city lights up in color. The city lights up in color and energy, proving its reputation. Proving its reputation. They want to make sure you know about this as the gay capital of the Middle East. You tell me if the Lord ain't going to destroy that place. Please, you tell me if our Lord, Yahweh Shai, and the angels are not going to destroy that place that they call the state of Israel. It's impossible, impossible, impossible that those people could be the children of Israel. Impossible. <laughs> now, will there be remnants of the Israelites amongst them? Unfortunately, yes, there will be remnants of the children of Israel amongst them. Will there be remnants of the elect amongst them? Possibly, yes, there will be remnants of the elect of the children of Israel amongst them. But as a whole, those people in the land of Israel that call themselves Israelis are not the children of Israel, as you can see. They reject the Lord. They reject Yahweh Shai, no matter what name you call, you come in to call him in. They reject the Lord, period. All right. It says here. The city lights. The city lights up in color and energy, proving its reputation. It's proving its reputation as the gay capital of the Middle East. And perhaps even the gay capital, see that? And perhaps even the gay capitals of the world. That place is going to go up in smoke when the Lord returns. Believe me when I tell you, the state of Israel is going to be purified by fire. First nuclear, then the chariots and the Lord. That place can't survive. Tel Aviv Gay Pride Week takes place every June with a surge of gay-friendly events taking place across the city, culminating in a Friday with the famed Pride Parade. The 2024 Tel Aviv Gay Parade will start Thursday evening, June the 6th, at the Tel Aviv Herbert Samuel Boardwalk and continue to the Pride Festival on June the 7th, right? So that place is going up in, that, that place is an abomination to the Most High. An abomination to the Yahweh Shai, an abomination to the angels in heaven. It's an abomination to the Lord. A complete abomination. That's what that place is. That's going to go up in smoke. Absolute smoke. Um, I'm just going to. Abomination. Let's just quick type this in. That place is a complete abomination. It's going to go up in smoke. And that's why I said they don't believe in the Lord. I want to do it. 
Okay, I'll see the uh, power node. This is not the run of it. Here it is. Leviticus 18 and 27. 22. So lucky. Thou shalt not lie with mankind as with womankind. It is an abomination. That is baby Babylon. <laughs> That's little Babylon. Baby Babylon. Babylon itself is America. That's baby Babylon. It's an abomination to the most side. That place. And it's going to go up in smoke. Absolute smoke. The Lord's made it quite clear. That place is going to be made desolate with Babylon the Great. Right? That place can't survive. The scripture says, is it in Ezekiel? This is why the Lord is sending, this is why the armies are getting ready to enter that place, boy. There was no way, no way can they preach. The, oh man, IUIC, you don't, you don't even want to think about going there talking about you're preaching Hebrew Israelites to these people. They probably line you up and shoot you and say that you are Palestinians. This is why the Lord is preparing for this, for the Russians to come in there. Ezekiel 38 verse 7. Be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them, a guard unto the nations that Russia is going to lead to invade Israel and come down into the Middle East to fight this war of Armageddon. After many days thou shalt be visited, in the latter years thou shalt come into the land that is brought back from the sword and is gathered out of many people against the mountains of Israel, against the government of Israel, which have been always waste, but it's, it's brought forth out of the nations and they shall dwell safely, and they shall dwell safely, all of them. The Lord is preparing the Russians. Thou shalt ascend and come like a storm. Thou shalt be like a cloud to cover the land, thou and all thy bands, and many people with thee. Thus says the Lord God, it shall also come to pass that at the same time things shall come into thy mind and thou shalt think an evil thought. And that's when the war escalates from what we call a conventional war to a nuclear war. The Lord is getting ready to, to bring the Russians down. That place has to be destroyed. It can't stand. They don't believe in the Lord. But yet the so-called Christian church, all of these so-called Christian organizations are all behind that place, backing it, all in favor of that place and backing that place. And for some reason, still continuing to believe that these people are the um, children of Israel. No chance. No chance. If we jump to jump to 39, this is going to be the end result. This is it here. It says, therefore, thou son of man, Ezekiel 39, verse 1, therefore, thou son of man, prophesies against God and say, thus says the Lord God, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshesh and Tubal. That's the Russians. He's not for them. He's against them, but he's going to use them to destroy that place. And I will turn thee back and leave but a sixth part of thee. A sixth part of the army will be left back in Russia and will cause thee to come up from the north, from the north, coming down into Russia, from the north parts and will bring thee upon the mountains of Israel. The mountains of Israel, the word mountain, is a symbolic word, metaphoric word for the word government. At the top of a mountain is a summit. What do they keep? They do keep summits. Government keeps G7 summit and G8 summits. That's what that's talking about. It's coming to destroy that place. It says, and I will smite, and I will smite thy bow out of thy left hand, I will cause thine arrows to fall out of thy right hand. What are the arrows? The missiles. The nuclear missiles. Thou shalt fall upon the, what? the mountains of Israel, the governments and Israel. Thou and all thy bands and the people that is with thee, the coalition of countries. And I will bring, give thee into unto the ravenous birds of every sort and to the beasts of the field to be devoured. It's going to be the massive graveyard. It's going to be a massive graveyard. Simple as that. But Israel is the main target and America is going to come to defend Israel when the Russians do this. Thou shalt fall upon the open field, for I have spoken it, says the Lord God. That place is an absolute abomination to the Most High. Israel. An absolute abomination to the Most High. And the Most High is getting ready to destroy it. To completely destroy it. So anyway, I just kind of was wanted to bring this to the forefront. I'm, I'm not going to take this any further. 
I want to leave it there, but this is what's going on, mate. Police protection. Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Don't touch it! Yeah. Police protection, boy. There's no way they can preach preach the Lord in that place. Anyway, we'll praise and glory to you. How are by Shimi? How was by Shamra Kakodash? I pray you're edified. I just kind of want to bring this to the front. Vocab, where are you? Vocab Malone and your merry men and your so-called merry men and all you so-called black hating Israelite brothers that hate the Hebrew Israelites, all of you so-called Christians, where is your outrage? You know, outrage with the land of Israel for their wickedness. Anyway, shalom, 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 shalom. Praise